During the weekends, the Ukrainian army violated the ceasefire over 20 times, killing two and wounding five civilians. The Donetsk People's Republic's headquarters also reported the shelling of Telmanove, Michurine and Dakuchayevsk, where two civilians were wounded, as well as Spartak, Vesela Hora and several other towns and villages. Meanwhile, Ukraine ready to carry out next wave of partial mobilization, said Ukrainian Defense Minister Stepan Poltarak on December 6. Is this Ukrainian desire for peace? The right sector and Maidan self-defense extremists wearing the balaclavas, helmets, bulletproof vests and waving clubs marched along the waterfront in Odessa shouting the slogans Allah Akbar and Glory to the Free Republic of Echkiria, the name by which terrorist fighters refer to Chechnya. The rally was held under the flags of the unrecognized Republic of Echkiria of the Dudayev Mashkad of years and the red and black flags of the Ukrainian nationalists. In addition, one Azerbaijan flag was seen at the rally. The speaker shouted Bandera-style slogans including glory to Ukraine. International coalition will not succeed in the effort to struggle against the Islamic State in Syria if there is no coordination with Damascus. In any case, there is no hope here of gaining victory over the terrorists without a broad coordination with the Syrian government, Russian Foreign Minister's official spokesman Alexander Lukashevich said on Tuesday. Terrorists are strengthening their rule on a part of Syria's territory and the international coalition has not solved the problems in Kobani, he said. The diplomat stressed that Moscow considers that his goal is to continue providing assistance to Damascus in the fight against terrorism and supporting the efforts aimed at resolving the Syrian crisis by political means based on the June 2012 Geneva Statement. Russian Defense Ministry will begin trials of full-track vehicles and other combat vehicles that will last several weeks in the Arctic regions, Deputy Defense Minister General Dmitry Bulgakov told reporters on Friday. More than 20 military hardware models, including Army snowmobiles, extra low-pressure tire vehicles, two-section crawler transporters, combat reconnaissance vehicles RIS and anti-sabotage combat vehicles Typhoon will be tested in an Arctic area stretching for more than 2.1 thousand kilometers. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.